Welcome to Lisbon High School in Lisbon, North Dakota. I'm Josh Boyko here tonight on the Irie Insurance pregame show. Welcome aboard and thank you for tuning in tonight for our contest between the visiting Maple River Raiders and the hosting Lisbon Broncos. We're glad to have you aboard here on yourliveevent.com or on our YouTube channel is where you can find us. Uh, we hope you can stay tuned uh, for tonight's game. We have an exciting game coming up. Early volleyball action in Region 1 Volleyball, North Dakota, uh, where we have a couple of younger teams here tonight that will be taking on each other and a couple of head coaches with a, only a couple years of experience and only first-year experience for Lisbon coach uh, Cara Tui. So we'll highlight a little bit more of that when we come back from our break on this pregame show. My name is Jared, born and raised in Minnesota, and I'm a project director at Enbridge. Enbridge is more than a pipeline company. It's a company participating in renewable energy projects in Minnesota and abroad, and I'm really proud to be working here. We believe a cleaner energy future is achievable. For over 20 years, we've been early adopters of renewable energy, and we're proudly committed to net zero emissions by 2050. To hear more from Jared, visit Enbridge.com slash Jared. That's J-E-R-R-I-D. Do you want that new boat? Are you building onto your home? Maybe you want the new camper or ATV. Dakota Heritage Bank can help you. This is Dustin Nagel, president at Dakota Heritage Bank Hillsboro location. You can visit with me or our other loan officers to help with loans and lines of credit from Dakota Heritage Bank. We are serving you with locations in North Dakota and Northwest Minnesota. Dakota Heritage Bank offers financial services you expect with a local perspective. DHBankND.com. Dakota Heritage Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Honesty, loyalty, integrity. At Bank North, we remain true to these values for generations. They shape the way we do business, work with customers, and support our communities. We've been here for more than a century, helping people grow farms and businesses, finance homes, and pursue their dreams. It's values-based banking, and it's all about working together to strengthen the common threads that bind us together. Bank North, always true. This is Chris Brecken from RDK Enterprises, your local precision planting dealer. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to our growers. Your trust and fellowship is the driving force behind our dedication to your successful farming operation. We continue to invest in the education of our team to ensure your customer experience is outstanding. Thank you for the opportunity to be your planter experts. Stop by either of our locations in Hillsboro or Drayton, North Dakota, or visit planterdoc.com. Welcome back to Lisbon High School on your live event here. Josh Boyko with you tonight on the call. We're set to see the Broncos of Lisbon host the Raiders of Maple River coming up just about six minutes away from our anthem and opening ceremonies tonight. Uh, I got to, got to talk to both coaches before this game, and we'll go over a little bit of what they had to say. First for the Lisbon Broncos, head coach Cara Tui in her first year as head coach of this roster, she was a assistant coach in years prior, but she now has the reins. And uh, she says that this co uh, this team right now is all about building chemistry and confidence together as they're getting to work with each other for the first time, coach paired with this new roster. And uh, in terms of preparing for Maple River, it's prepare for the height as the Raiders send out a couple of quality middle hitters and outside hitters as well that provides some height and good vertical on the court tonight. So that's something we'll keep an eye on. Uh, the strengths of this Maple River team, uh, of this Lisbon team, the defense is uh, something that Coach Tui definitely highlighted out to me. Uh, lots of good players there. Olivia Kern, the libero, uh, senior at 5'2", be a factor in that tonight on the defense. And then the outside hitters. Uh, both coaches really highlighted the outside hitters as what they have to get going tonight in order to defeat their opponent. So we'll keep an eye on who can outduel each other on the outside tonight. And the mindset, confident. This team is coming in with some confidence, uh, even though they are a little bit newer working together. And then the smart plays is something that Coach Tui described to me is, this team just plays smart. They're not gonna shoot themselves in the foot. They don't make the first mistake. They're not gonna blink first. 
So we'll be looking forward to some clean volleyball play tonight, hopefully, from this Lisbon team. Then on the other side for the Maple River Raiders, head coach Craig Poole in his second year. Loves the youth and the good defense of this team. Their passing control is solid. And the one thing that they need to be focused on tonight is getting the capable outside hitters going. Really highlighted by both coaches, the outside hitters are going to be a big factor in this one. And the mindset for the Raiders, super optimistic and hoping for top four in their region this year. These teams don't see each other very often, but they're going to see each other tonight for at least an hour. And we'll be coming up with more of that uh, later on in this broadcast. We'll step aside on this pregame show. Serving Monoman and the surrounding communities for 34 years, it's Bergman Super Value, your hometown grocery store in Monoman. Stop by today, great weekly specials, delicious fresh produce, along with baked goods that are baked fresh daily, and a fully stocked meat department. Great deals, you'll find them at your hometown grocery store, Bergman Super Value. Celebrating 34 years, it's your hometown grocery store, Bergman Super Value in Monoman. Back here at Lisbon High School, under two minutes to go until we are getting set for National Anthem and opening ceremonies tonight. Tonight is senior night here at Lisbon High School, and Lisbon has four seniors that they are honoring tonight. They're number four, Olivia Kern, number 11, Grace Keen, and number three, Elena Lyons. So embarking on their final season as Broncos in 2022, so shout out to them. And uh, it was also parents' night, I believe, perhaps, as they highlighted some of that, too. So some festivities going on here at Lisbon High School as we are about a minute away from National Anthem. We'll take a look at the Lisbon uh, schedule coming up here as they will be hosting next week Napoleon Gackle Streeter at home. They'll have that on September 6th at 7 p.m. here. And then they'll be traveling to Winemere Lidgerwood, not too far of a drive, uh, as their next away game. Just about getting set here for National Anthem, so we will step aside on our pregame show here. That concludes our Irie Insurance pregame show. We will see you on the other side.
Welcome back to Lisbon High School on yourliveevent.com or on our YouTube channel, Your Live Event, as we are introducing our starting lineups now. The Maple River Raiders getting introduced first. And uh, it's a hot day here, both outside but also inside, as the air conditioning uh, has failed the school. And it is a hot one in this gym. We see a lot of the fans here fanning themselves with the lineup cards. The players will be sweating it out tonight as we are up here in the booth as well. So it's going to be a, a hot day inside Lisbon High and uh, hopefully some hot competition on the court. Now we'll see the Lisbon Broncos with their starting lineup coming out. Coach Tui in her first year at Lisbon High and she'll send out uh, a solid lineup here but only three seniors in this lineup. So the youth will be represented a lot here as the tradition continues of the players able to throw some candy out to that student section as each one gets introduced. Ella Tui getting introduced, junior outside hitter at 5'8". A piece highlighted by Coach Tui in the pregame. are just about ready now for things to get started as they will come to the net. Raiders and Broncos about ready to go as they'll huddle up right before a game here. We'll be keeping track of things tonight on our Bank North scoreboard. Thank you to Bank North for sponsoring that here tonight. Bank North offers the traditional and advanced products and services that keep you grounded and ahead of the curve in today's fast-paced world. For farming and ranching, business and consumer banking and lending, you'll always be heading in the right direction with Bank North. To learn more about Bank North, visit ibanknorth.com. Officials checking the lineup rotations to start this one off. And we are just about ready. It'll be Maple River serve to start us off tonight. First up to serve will be the setter for the Raiders, Chloe Wetch, the senior. And things are underway. And we have a net violation. Right off the bat, Kyra Heckerl had a nice, nice hit that would have ended in a Lisbon point, but in the net on the set. Out to Heckerl, blocked, but it gets through. And Heckerl off to a fast start, showing the leaping ability. Has things tied at one. Maple River unable to control the serve and it'll be 2-1 Broncos. Kaya Sweet with the serve. The center Wetch had to play it over for Maple River and too strong from Heckerl. Had a good leap. Made a good effort. 
Too strong from Heckrow though, and that'll send it back. Raiders serve is short. Wetch with the powerful, the set up to the powerful hit. And that was Addison Hannig with the kill. Brooklyn Olsen the serve, tipped over, Heckerl back. Now gets it over. Watch the back set. And Brielle Killerin will get the kill. Lauren with the nice location in the back right corner. Heckrow with this, this placement to the corner and she's gonna end up with the point for Lisbon. Kendra Differding with the serve. And tips straight into the net by the Raiders. And we are all tied up at four now. Lisbon with back-to-back -back points, and now they pull ahead five to five to four. That hit going just out. Iris Richmond tried to go sideline, just missing, and point for the Broncos up two. Elena Lyons, just too strong on the serve. Heckrow with the powerful hit, but dug out nicely. That was Hannig of the Raiders with the dig. Now she puts this one up. Sent back by Heckroll and company at the net. And Maple River is gonna end up with this point. The block got closed off by Keen and Heckroll. But they couldn't thwart off the next hit. Knotted up at six. Heckroll to the back row. Wetch, the back set. And that one lands just in on the line. That's Brielle Killer in with another touch to the corner. Her second kill of the set. Blocked at the net by Heckerl and leads to the point for Lisbon. Showing that leaping ability on full display. Big time hit, dug out though. It was Stella Satram with the hit. That one landing out the back side. Maple River pulling ahead now by one. Eight to seven is the score in set number one here. Big time rejection at the net. 
Stella Satrum, the sophomore, getting up there, contesting and getting the block. But there was a violation there, and that's going to be Lisbon point. Service going out. It is 9-8 is the score with the Raiders on top. Too strong out the back side by Tui and it's 10-8 Raiders on top. Sweet ends up going just a little bit too far to the side and gives another point to Maple River. Heckerell unable to handle the serve and that's an ace. Esther Steinke with the ace for Maple River. And we'll have a timeout here. 12 to eight is the score in the opening first set. We'll be staying here. Good action seen so far. Some unforced errors from both teams, but as to be expected from early on in the season, just the in the first couple games of the schedule for both of these teams. Both the coaches highlighted trying to build chemistry early on in the season is a really important thing. The sooner you can do it, the more success your team can have down the stretch and contending for a region title or higher placement. The outside hitters of the Raiders have been getting going early. That has propelled them out to this four point lead that they hold right now. Larissa Hoffer had that push set over the net there. Hoffer again from the middle. And the junior slams it down and gets one back for the Broncos. Nice touch to get the set. Hoffer with the left hand this time. As Brooklyn Olsen for Maple River and now blocked at the net. Well played possession by Maple River. Thirteen to nine the score. And we have a tip called. The ball landed out, but the ball was tipped and deflected to the out of bounds. And that'll be Broncos point. Elena Lyons just too strong with the serve out the backside. Nice dig from Elena Lyons, keeping it up, and that helps the Broncos earn the point. Lyons with the defensive highlight. And
And over the line in the middle was the setter. That was Kaya Sweet getting across the line into the net. Sixteen to eleven now. Seventeen. Maple River up by six. Heckerl with the running start, but got it sent back. In the middle, it was Addison Hannig with the rejection. And a commanding lead now being taken by the Raiders. 19 to 11 is the score. Just a bit strong from Gracie Keen. It's been a number of misfires. Just a little bit too strong from the Broncos in this first set. They'll have to make an adjustment. Kyra Heckerl getting herself back in that kill column. Kendra Differding, junior outside hitter with the serve, and she grabs an ace. Differding too short that time on the serve. Keanu LaRue takes a seat to Libero for the Raiders. We'll see if that takes any effect. Not on this one. Differing, just unable to handle it. Maple River has extended their lead to nine. Heckerl with the slam, but dug out nicely by Addison Hannig. And the free tip at the net, and it was Ella Tui. Elevating and putting it down. Wetch chases it down, deflected, and down on the Lisbon side. Keenan Hoffer Tried to close off the block. We're unable to do so though and it got tipped off the fingers and landing in Lisbon territory. Nice back set. But going just long. Brielle Killerin was asking for a potential tip on the play. The officials having none of it. Signal no tip and Lisbon point. And a little bit of miscommunication on the Raiders side as Stella Satram was trying to get around to it, ran into her own teammate, Iris Richmond. And that's going to be an ace for the Broncos. And landing out again. Targeting the same area, Brooklyn Olsen, unable to handle the last two. Lisbon looking to close this gap. Making a late push in set number one. And here comes a little bit of a run from the Broncos now. What was once a nine point gap 
has closed to five, or closed to four now with a five point run. Heckerl unable to handle this one. Caroms off the back wall. And Maple River is within one of taking set number one. Heckerl handles this one. Here comes the set. And bearing it is Stella Satrum for the set one victory for Maple River. They take the set 25 to 19. We'll recap it when we come back. There is another way to minimize your farm's risk and protect its equity with margin protection coverage. This is Bethany Rents, crop insurance agent with IRE Insurance. Margin protection provides coverage against an unexpected decrease or increase in operating margin. In other words, we can put a policy in place to protect you from changing input costs and crop prices on your farm. Let us help you explore this option between now and September 30th to get you covered. For more information, go to IRIEINS.com. You're protected and appreciated. My name is Jared, born and raised in Minnesota, and I'm a project director at Enbridge. Enbridge is more than a pipeline company. It's a company participating in renewable energy projects in Minnesota and abroad, and I'm really proud to be working here. We believe a cleaner energy future is achievable. For over 20 years, we've been early adopters of renewable energy, and we're proudly committed to net zero emissions by 2050. To hear more from Jared, visit Enbridge.com slash Jared. That's J-E-R-R-I-D. Do you want that new boat? Are you building onto your home? Maybe you want the new camper or ATV. Dakota Heritage Bank can help you. This is Dustin Nagel, president at Dakota Heritage Bank Hillsboro location. You can visit with me or our other loan officers to help with loans and lines of credit from Dakota Heritage Bank. We are serving you with locations in North Dakota and Northwest Minnesota. Dakota Heritage Bank offers financial services you expect with a local perspective. dhbanknd.com. Dakota Heritage Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Honesty, loyalty, integrity. At Bank North, we remain true to these values for generations. They shape the way we do business, work with customers, and support our communities. We've been here for more than a century, helping people grow farms and businesses, finance homes, and pursue their dreams. It's values-based banking, and it's all about working together to strengthen the common threads that bind us together. Bank North, always true. Welcome back to Lisbon High School on your live event with set one in the books and Maple River taking it by the score of 25 to 19 as you see on your Bank North scoreboard. Story of set number one, the Maple River size is making a difference as they've had a number of nice uh, rejections at the net. Stella Satram making herself a candidate for player of set number one as she had a number of nice plays. The sophomore listed at six foot two Really making an impact uh, on both sides of the ball right now. Just getting set for number two, uh, set number two to take place. Thing for Lisbon in the first set. So there were some unforced errors, a lot of balls sailing out the back. And uh, Car 2, he's probably telling them about following that, uh, finishing that follow through, hold the wrist. Uh, a through on the hit, complete it, get more of that downward action that they're looking for on that ball, and maybe prevent some of the sailing. Kyra Heckerl had a nice first set for Lisbon, as we see her in the middle, where she does her damage. Officials getting things ironed out to start set number two. We have the thumbs up and it is Lisbon serve. The Kaya Sweet. Oh, 
Big hit coming, big block by Heckerl. Keen was in on the block as well. Keen going to the back corner with pretty good placement. It's going to give him a free touch here. And Lisbon going to earn the point as that one's off the net. Nice set across. Here comes the hit from Differding, handled well in the back by Maple River. Lisbon out to a good start in set number two. And another block as Heckerl tandeming with Gracie Keene. Their second block together in set number two's early stage. Nice dig, but unable to keep it in play. Broncos out to a four nothing spurt in set number two. Kaya Sweet, fifth serve. In a row, here comes the hit. And again, the outside hitters just cannot get enough elevation to get it over that big wall on the left side. Just a wall on that left side. Nothing is getting by him. Brielle Killoran tried to give the second set over the net, and we're going to have a timeout as it's a 6 0 Lisbon lead early on in set number two. This is Chris Brecken from RDK Enterprises, your local precision planting dealer. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to our growers. Your trust and fellowship is the driving force behind our dedication to your successful farming operation. We continue to invest in the education of our team to ensure your customer experience is outstanding. Thank you for the opportunity to be your planter experts. Stop by either of our locations in Hillsboro or Drayton, North Dakota, or visit planterdoc.com. Serving Monoman and the surrounding communities for 34 years, it's Brigham and Super Value, your hometown grocery store in Monoman. Stop by today, great weekly specials, delicious fresh produce, along with baked goods that are baked fresh daily, and a fully stocked meat department. Great deals, you'll find them at your hometown grocery store, Brigham and Super Value. Celebrating 34 years, it's your hometown grocery store, Brigham and Super Value in Monoman. Joining back partway through set number two with the Maple River Raiders taking set one. And with a 7-0 now Lisbon lead in set number two as momentum has shifted. The defense of the Broncos has been superb in this second set. And that'll make it 8 to nothing. This one finally gets through on a good hit. Kaya Sweet handled it well, differed into the back line. Kaloran with the set. And a great effort by both sides on that play. Differing with the diving attempt. And Maple River finally on the board in set number two. Still trail by seven. Nice sinking serve, and that's an ace. It's 
Chloe Wetch, the setter, with the serve. Heckle pounds that one, and she pounds it right on the line. She's gonna be a big factor in turning this game around for Lisbon as they already are in this second set. And an ace for the Broncos has them up 10-2. Heckro with a number of blocks. And a few kills. And Lisbon earning another one as Maple River getting that one too close to the net on their own side. And the set from Wetch just a little bit too far trying to lead Rael Killoran. Lisbon already halfway to home in set number two. Trying to even things up after a lopsided Maple River victory in set number one. <laughs> Esther Steinke checking out for Maple River. They'll rotate in some fresh legs. Brooklyn Olsen the serve. This has got to get over, and it does. Galoran handled by Differding. And a nice touch from Grace Keen. The net grazing touch by Keen, making the Maple River Raiders players lay out for it, but unable to handle it. Maple River a good, does a good job recovering. And they're gonna earn the point as there's a double on the set. Keanu LaRude with the serve for the Raiders. Good dig by Differding in the back. Tui. Heckro gets it back to her own side and it's played nicely. Both teams in scramble mode and the Raiders earn the point. That was some real nice scrambling going on by both teams with players running out of position and a lot quicker paced volley. And Stella Satram getting another kill in the middle. Clarissa Hoffer offered the contest, but to no avail. And the sinking ace, Brooklyn Olsen. Getting Maple River one closer as they have narrowed the gap down to six. Nice touch from Tui landing on the back line. Lisbon back to double the total of Maple River at 14 to seven. Elena Lyons with the serve. Wetch the and give her the assist. 
as Iris Richmond from the outside. Getting the kill for the Raiders. Great serve. Tui able to knock it back into her own territory, though. Free possession, but sent back. That's the size right there, Stella Satrum. The 6'2 sophomore, she'll be sticking around for a couple more seasons after this one, and she's already looking real good in the first couple sets here tonight. To the outside, and just too strong that time from Richmond. Tui, a little bit too much mustard on that one and hits it out the back. Another good serve off the tape. And Maple River inching back closer now to within four of the Broncos after being down double digits, 12 to two at one point in this set, second set. Oh, what a touch. Kaya Sweet fooled everyone with the over the back set to the middle of nowhere. Satrum fans on that one, a rare mistake from her. And blocked by Heckerl, but it lands out of bounds. Maple River hanging around. Didn't miss the line by much, but too strong from Satrum. 18 to 12, Lisbon on top, where they've been this entire second set. Kaya Sweet, the serve, goes to the middle of the court. Kaloran to the outside, and now here comes Heckrell with it. To the outside. Played back by Sweet to Tui, now Heckerl. A second touch set over and we have a double touch. Maple River earning that point on the violation. And a timeout. We'll step aside for a minute and come back with the conclusion of set number two. Triple E Incorporated in Page is cheering on the Raiders. As they compete both on and off the field and on the court, you put in the effort to build a team with trust, experience, and the ability to accomplish your goals. The team at Triple E Incorporated is built the same way, with knowledge and experience that you can trust to get the job done with timeliness and efficiency. For your next non-residential building project, contact Triple E Incorporated, 701-668-2258, or stop by the office in Page. Make your next project a winner with a team from Triple E Incorporated in Page. Back here on your live event, Josh Boyko with you tonight in set number two. The Broncos leading 18 to 13, looking to get themselves the first set victory of tonight. They're cleaning up the mistakes they made in set number one that gave the lopsided victory of 25 to 19 to Maple River in set number one. But it's been all Lisbon in set number two as they got out to a real hot start, 12 to two at one point and Things have tightened up a little bit as the Broncos lead has been trimmed down to five. Maple River hanging in there. Yeah. 
Nice serve to the back corner. That's an ace for Chloe Wetch. Wetch has been one of the more dominant servers in tonight's game from either side. Heckerl with the tip. She just went up there and got it. That's all you can ask for on the Lisbon side. You got someone that can out jump the rest of the other team. Just give her a 50-50 ball, she wins it. And back to a five point Lisbon advantage. Big time hit and that's a kill. Brielle Killerin. A lot of power on that one. Overpowering the back line of the Broncos and now back to four on the scoreboard deficit. Here comes Heckerl with the floater. And Differding with the touch. That'll inch Maple River to the closest they've been since 12 to two, or since the beginning of this set really as it extended all the way out to 12-2. There's another one. Maple River making a comeback after being down double digits, just down two. As they have a nice run of their own. Brooklyn Olsen with the serve. Heckro plays it over. It's a free possession for Maple River. And they take advantage of it. Coming back, storming back, Iris Richmond buries that one to make it a one point game in set number two. Olsen with the serve. Maple River a chance to tie it at 19 on this possession. Heckerl gets rejected at the net. Lisbon gets it back over. Galoran eventually gets that one over. Here comes Heckerl. Spiked into the awaiting Addison Hammock, but Lisbon ends up with the point. They're able to thwart off the tie on that possession and advance it back to a two point game. Here's Heckerl with the serve. Some nice knuckling sink to it at the end there. And too strong out the back. Lisbon. Stretches it back out to a three-point lead with time running out in set number two. And getting through the block was Clarissa Hoffer. Too strong on that one for Hannig to block, and now we have another timeout. 22 to 18, Lisbon on top. Hope Page Public Schools are committed to the development of all students by providing a high-quality education that is reflective of the strong values in our communities. The staff at Hope Page Public Schools work each day to enable and inspire students to achieve academic excellence and make positive contributions to our world. Learn more about Hope Page Public Schools by visiting hope-page.k12.nd.us. We are Hope Page and we will change the world. Twenty-two to eighteen on the Bank North scoreboard with Lisbon on top, on top by as much as ten early on with a twelve to two opening start to set number two. Maple River trimmed it down to one at nineteen eighteen. But three in a row for Lisbon has them just three away from taking set number two. Differding to Sweet, pushing it to the back line. Wetch puts it in a good spot. And Lisbon gets it over and gets it in. What a touch. 
A great hustle play from the Broncos. Turning the tide of this set. Credit Heckroll with the hustle play to keep that one alive. She now serves. Sent back at the net and Lisbon one away from taking set number two and evening things up. Hecker will serve in a good spot. That one landing out and set number two goes to the Broncos. Lisbon takes it and we are tied at a set apiece here in Lisbon, North Dakota and we'll come back and recap set number two right after this. Are you expanding, upgrading, or want to automate? Visit with the experienced staff at Hope Electric to learn about the latest electrical systems and the newest technologies that they have developed to make your operation more efficient. Get a custom system in place with features like iPad truck loading and remote view grain storage, touchscreen controls, hazard monitoring systems, and wireless cellular cameras to protect your assets. Hope Electric, serving the agricultural and commercial industry since 1978. Visit hopeelectric.com or call 701-945-2460. Larson Parts and Repair Inc. Highway 59 in Bijou does it all. They provide full shop services for your tractors, combines, trucks, pickups, and cars. Their tire department carries a full line of name brand tires, and they've got state-of-the-art alignment equipment. And don't forget about the parts department. They have parts for just about anything right down to your lawnmower. Call today, 218-935-2774. Larson Parts and Repair, Inc., Highway 59 in Bijou. The Maple Valley School District is moving forward with the plan to build a new pre-K classroom, community fitness center, and gymnasium with locker rooms. The classroom will provide more space for a growing pre-K program. The fitness center will provide opportunities to benefit all Maple Valley communities, and the gym will allow more opportunities for all activities of the Maple River Co-op. Plus, the plan is to build with no new taxes. Contact the business manager to see how you can help make this a reality today at 701-749-2570. A 1-1 tie after two sets from Lisbon High. Maple River taking the first 25 to 19. And then rebounding was Lisbon in set number two, taking it 25 to 18. It was a game of runs in set number two, a 12-0 blazing hot start for Lisbon in set number two, kept them on track. Uh, to even things up at a 1-1 tie here through two sets, but not before Maple River actually trimmed that lead from 10 all the way down to one in the latter stages of set number two, but a pivotal timeout called by Lisbon and coach Cara Tui in her first year at the helm for the Broncos. That timeout afterwards, a 6-0 run closed out set number two for Lisbon. And uh, Kyra Heckrell was all over the floor in set number two as she had made a number of hustle plays and one of the biggest ones, a ball was escaping to the back wall on the Lisbon side. She was able to track it down with her back to the net, keep it alive for Lisbon who earned the point to go up by five in that set. Maple River getting the first serve of set number three. And Heckerl gets sent back. Lisbon unable to get that one through. It's Maple River point to start out set number three. Wetch lets this one drop in front of her as it goes out. And it's a 2-0 Maple River advantage to start out set number three. Wetch with a laser, 
just over the net. A great serve. Repossession. See what they do with it. They go with a tip play. Handled well by the Broncos. Tipped at the net. Raiders unable to handle it, and Lisbon's on the board. Kaya Sweet with the serve, the back set. Here comes Olsen and missing out. Get a timeout on the floor to make sure the floor is perfectly dry. Getting some moisture off of there as the air conditioning is non-existent in this building right now. So the players putting down some sweat. Wet with the set and blocked but out. That was Heckerl and Keen there with another block but Unable to keep it in. A set across and a nice placement there from Keen. One of the three seniors on this roster. It was at six feet tall and Keen earns the point. It's three apiece. Flag goes up and that one is out on the left side. Lisbon taking their lead at 4-3. Wetch too strong on that hit and it's out of bounds. And Heckel, an athletic play, just get a, a hand on that one, but Maple River coming up with the point. Back to serve goes An Addison Hannig. Just a sophomore, but she's got the size at six feet tall, and she's got an ace. Hannig with the pinpoint accuracy to the sideline. Knots it up at five. Goes the right side this time to his way. Nice dig in the back. Kaloran with the touch and now Lisbon handling it is Tui. One of the longer volleys we've had. Trying to end it is Heckerl. And in the net violation, so the Broncos get this point to edge ahead by one, six, five. Punched over by Tui. And a good call as you can hear the out calls from the Lisbon team. Good talk from Maple River to get that one back over. Tui fans on it and it's Maple River point. A nice dig. That was Iris Richmond with the dig for Maple River. And Satchrum sends that one back. Oh, 
Dig in the back from Keanu, Keanu Larood. Maple River on a bit of a run now, pulling ahead eight to seven. And earning this point. Four nothing run for the Raiders, has them on top by two. And another ace as Brooklyn Olsen. Extending the run, extending the lead. And Lisbon overshooting this one again. Six nothing run for the Raiders. And the frustration starting to set in now as Keene slams that ball back onto the Maple River side. Seven nothing run. Nice touch over there by Kaya Sweet with the tip. And blocked back down onto the Lisbon side by Stella Satram has been doing it all night long. Also unable to handle that one on the back lines and the Broncos finally end an eight to nothing Maple River run. And a block, but landing out, it'll be Maple River point. Clarissa Hoffer came up with the block. And we have a timeout. 14 to eight, Maple River on a nine to one run in set number three. The Maple Valley Parents Organization is an organization whose main purpose is to support all Maple Valley student activities and to promote a healthy environment and attitudes for the youth. Their aim is to encourage growth and interest in these areas by supporting them in a sportsmanlike manner. The Maple Valley Parents Organization is open to anyone. If you'd like to become a member or see upcoming events, like their Facebook page by searching Maple Valley Parents Organization on Facebook. The Bank North scoreboard reads 14 for Maple River and eight for Lisbon in set number three. Both teams looking to edge ahead as this game is tied at one apiece, one set apiece. Stella Satram has been doing it in the middle tonight and she's been sending shots back left and right. And needed a lot of points and good looks for the Maple River offense. Steinke with the serve. And Lisbon unable to get it back over. Jamie Vavra into the game for Maple River, a new face. She lays out for it, but can't come up with it. Deep serve from Tui in the back.
And misread by the Raiders in the back. That's an ace for Lisbon as they claw their way back to within four. It was an 8-0 run by Maple River to get to a 13-7 lead in this third set. The serving error will give them one more. Leroud with the serve, blocked at the net. It was Hannigan Hoffer going at it in the middle. Differding keeps it up. Hoffer goes back to Heckerl and they get it back over. Popped high in the air. Tui setting it up. And Lisbon is going to earn this point to narrow the gap just a bit. Starting to see in set number three some longer volleys between these two teams as they're both starting to find their groove. Laying out is Differding. Tui unable to keep it going as she misses to the left. Great serve, and that's an ace. Wetch knew it right away, put it in a beautiful spot. And the senior setter fired up about it. And letting it drop, the Raiders with some miscommunication. It was closest to Addison Hannig. Olsen fields it, gets it to Wetch. Kaloran gets it over. Differding with the tip. Saved by Olsen. Here comes the tip again. Sent back by Heckerl. Just too high up there is Kyra Heckerl. And a perfect serve right on the line from Kaya Sweet. An ace for the Broncos, narrowing the gap to three. And Wetch doubles and it'll be an error. Maple River once having a sizable lead has now only just a two-point lead. This is like the reverse of set number two where Lisbon got out to the big lead and things got close. Heckerl out jumps Maple River at the net down to a one-point lead. This is exactly where we were in set number two. Just long. Getting dicey and players are sweating on that floor in this very hot gym tonight. Heckerl just strong. Maple River gets back-to-back -back points for the first time in a while. Opening the lead back up to three. As we near the conclusion of set number three, a pivoting set for both sides, blocked out of bounds by Kaloran. Far too strong out the back. One point game. Oh, 
elevating and detonating is Kyra Heckerl for the tie. Three straight for Lisbon. Ties it, set number three at 20. We have a timeout. We'll come back with the conclusion of set three right after this. Are you an enthusiastic sports fan? Want to have fun and get in on the action? Heck yes, that'd be awesome. Have great attention to detail? Want to stay active? Definitely. Want to give back to the student athletes in your community? Obviously, yes. Then you'd make an excellent high school sports official. We need more officials in North Dakota because with no high school officials, there are no high school sports. Sign up today at highschoolofficials.com. We have a tie game at 20 in set number three. Both squads looking to break ahead two to one in tonight's match. Lisbon coming from behind, almost as Maple River did in set number two. Even at 20 now. And the Broncos continue their run, 4 nothing run now, as they've taken the lead in the late stages of set number three. Differding a high serve, a safe one. Wetch going across, has it tipped at the front of the net. And in the net, Pushing it to a two-point game. Lisbon on top. But the serve short from Differding. Low serve and it's an ace. That's Hannig with the ace for Maple River to tie to 22. Get in real tight for set number three. Saved somehow off the front of the net by Keane for Lisbon as they continue on. And too strong. Kaloran was going for the back line. She just misjudged it and now 23-22, Lisbon a pair of points away from taking set number three. Right at the front of the net in a bad spot for the Raiders. Lisbon puts it down and is one point away from taking back-to-back -back sets. We have another timeout called by Maple River. We'll stay here for this one as we are just about to conclude set number three. Started with a pretty even contest, but then Maple River went on an eight to nothing run, opening it up to a 13 to seven lead at one point. Six was about the furthest out they got. And then Lisbon with a big time run, as much as six to nothing on their side, getting it back to a tie game at 20. They were even at 22 and now back to back from the Broncos after this short timeout has them one point away from taking this pivotal set number three. Here comes Heckerl with the jump serve short. Back over on only one tap. For the game and on the line, that is it. Clarissa Hoffer ends it. Set number two goes to the Broncos. We'll step aside and when we come back, we'll recap the first three sets for you as we move on to set number four with the Broncos a chance to send us home in four. Let's get... 
real. You're ready for a place that's big enough to grow and small enough to care. So get ready for the University of Minnesota Crookston. With more than 30 majors, minors, and certificates, you'll earn a University of Minnesota degree in a close-knit community where faculty become friends and friends feel like family. And to get a degree that can make a difference, you don't need a big city, just big dreams. The University of Minnesota Crookston. Real. Hands-on. Ready. Stay up to date with the latest goings on in the region with the Coaches Show every Wednesday night on yourliveevent.com. Goes deep down the middle, has a man, Soka Porter! Soka Porter to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, and taken down there! We'll dive into the latest stories from North Dakota and Minnesota. And there's the block by Reese. That's the Coaches Show with me, Joe Lancello, on yourliveevent.com every Wednesday night starting at 7. There is another way to minimize your farm's risk and protect its equity with margin protection coverage. This is Bethany Rents, crop insurance agent with IRE Insurance. Margin protection provides coverage against an unexpected decrease or increase in operating margin. In other words, we can put a policy in place to protect you from changing input costs and crop prices on your farm. Let us help you explore this option between now and September 30th to get you covered. For more information, go to IRIEINS.com. You're protected and appreciated. Welcome back to Lisbon High. Josh Boyko here with your live event. And on our Bank North scoreboard, it reads after set three, 25 to 22 Lisbon, propelling them to the two to one set lead in this contest tonight. Recapping the first three sets, Maple River took set number one, 25 to 19, as their size was making a big difference. And uh, they're Middle hitter with uh, Stella Satram having a good night tonight. Really propelled them to that set number one win and they fin they started well uh, in set number three after getting taken down 25-18 in set number two, but Lisbon with a big time run came back in the late stages of set number three to give them this 2-1 set advantage. We play on to set number four now. Maple River looking to send us to fifth set. Maple and uh, Lisbon trying to send us home. It'll be Kaya Sweet. Serving first for the Broncos and that error on the hit will give the Broncos the first lead. Too short from Sweet on the service error. We'll send it over to the opposing number two, Chloe Wetch. Heckerl has to back up for it. Differing, elevating. Wetch, now floating it over was Olsen. And almost like a dunk in basketball, Heckerl was putting that one over the net for Lisbon. Long volley here. Keen nearly had the point for Lisbon one, but Maple River recovers. Here comes Differding from the outside. Long hit. Wetch getting it back to a playable spot. And putting it right in the corner was Kiana Leroud. Nice low line drive serve from Wetch. What a dig after Heckerl slammed that one down by Leroud. Yeah. 
Maple River runs into each other on that touch and Broncos earn the point to tie it up at two. Nice diving play by Steinke to keep it alive. And Tui with a nice location. We get some more moisture off the court now. Again, no air conditioning in the building tonight has led to some hazardous floor conditions at times. So we'll get the towel off and we're ready to play on. As everyone in the building fanning themselves, it's a warm one. And the deflection saves Maple River there as that ball is ticketed out. Olsen with the serve. Big time hit, big time play from the sophomore Addison Hannig. The two tallest players on this team, Hannig and Satram, are both just sophomores and they've been making a big impact on this game. And that's why head coach Craig Poole was saying that he loves having the, the youth on this team. Those two underclassmen playing a big difference, big role in the game tonight. Lauren plays it over to Heckerl, now Sweet. And at the net, some contest. Tui's hit handled by Olsen to Sweet, now Richmond. And that one just ate up, differing a little bit. Good touch, Maple River staying consistent that entire set. Multiple players just making sure that that floor is looking good and in working condition to finish out this third set. Or at uh, this fourth set, rather. And a great play. At the net, the tip is batted down. Maple River extending to a two-point lead. Maple River somehow able to keep that one up off the deflection. Kaloran tips it up. Wetch to the outside, too strong. Richmond misfires and now Lisbon gets one back on the board, 6-5. Not sure what the ruling there was, but there was a overturn of a call by the officials and the scoreboard is changed.
Maple River getting awarded the point for that last one, and they get this one too. 8-4 is now the official score. Great job there, pounding that one down with Stella Satram. Big time hit, extending the lead to five. Sent back by the team of Keen and Hoffer. Now here comes Hoffer, big time hit. Up on the basketball hoop and down on the Maple River side. Almost a bucket right there. Satram misplays. And the Broncos with back-to-back -back points. Satram struggling now, a little bit too strong. Three straight from the Broncos. Has them within two. A tip, kept up, sweet. Gets it off to Lions. Lions lays out for it, here comes Sweet. And that one is ruled out. It'll be Maple River Point. Olsen misses short on the serve. And Satram mistimes the jump. Sophomore had a great first three sets, but this fourth one hasn't been as kind to her. And the Broncos on a run now. Game tied up at 10. Kaloran plays it back perfectly. Richmond going deep and causing some trouble for Lisbon. They do get it back over. Richmond again. A scramble from Maple River. Both sides scrambling a little bit now. Here comes the hit. And Hoffer from the middle, the 5'10 junior, puts one down for Lisbon to continue the run. And a good decision by Olsen to let that one Land just out. As close as close gets, tied at 11 on the scoreboard. Lisbon a chance to win in four. Maple River trying to send us to set five. And there's Kendra Differding. A player that Coach Chewy highlighted in the pregame show as someone to watch out for tonight, and she comes up with a kill in crunch time. Yeah. 
Elena Lyons missing short on that one. Knotted up at 12. This has been the most evenly played set so far and sent back. Kyra Heckrell is an absolute wall at the net tonight. And lifted out by Olsen. Lisbon now taking back-to-back -back points. And that one finds the floor. Another kill for Heckerl. And a timeout called by Coach Craig Poole. We'll take a break with Lisbon on top by three and has their eyes on this victory. My name is Jared, born and raised in Minnesota, and I'm a project director at Enbridge. Enbridge is more than a pipeline company. It's a company participating in renewable energy projects in Minnesota and abroad, and I'm really proud to be working here. We believe a cleaner energy future is achievable. For over 20 years, we've been early adopters of renewable energy, and we're proudly committed to net zero emissions by 2050. To hear more from Jared, visit Enbridge.com slash Jared. That's J-E-R-R-I-D. Lisbon closing in on a match victory up two to one in the sets department and up three on Bank North scoreboard. Maple River is gonna have to mount a comeback here. They took set number one by the score of 25 to 19, but since then Lisbon has had the upper hand. Lisbon staying strong after the timeout, coming out and grabbing another point and grabbing their largest lead of this set. Big time hit. Gracie Keene extends it to five and Lisbon Trying to go on a run that could prove to be lethal for the Raiders. And misplayed as Jamie Vavra tried to play that one from off to the side. Could have let it go back to Kiana Leirud. Now the run continues for Lisbon up six. Sweet goes over to Tui. Keen to the back line and too far out the back line. Heckerl, too much to overcome for the Raiders at the net as they're unable to contest it. 19 to 13 Broncos running away. Blocked back by Hannig, but Lisbon keeps it alive. Blocked at the net. Heckerl and Keen were there. Long volley. And that'll end it. 
give Wetch the assist on that one as Differding was unable to handle it. Good play by Wetch to bat that one up in the air. And then a second touch from her. A block by Hannig and, and Maple River with back-to-back -back points of their own cuts it down to four. Olsen's serve goes to Differding. Sweet has it uh, to Heckerl and it, that one gets sent back. And maybe some moisture on the floor there as Wetch went to go on that one and slipped. That's a big point right there. That's one that Wetch, you know she would have had if she doesn't slip. It is very hot in this gym and the players are doing their best to keep this floor in playing condition. That's a deflating one for the Raiders. On a 2-0 run there, could have made it three, but the slip up due to the court issue has him down five. Slipping again was Wetch. And Lisbon earning the point. within four points now of ending this one. And an ace for Heckerl. Coming up big down the stretch, star players doing star player things. A partial block at the net gives Heckerl a good touch. Batted in the air, Olsen now Wetch gives it a heave across. And Sweet with the missed touch to the backside. It was a miss hit by Clarissa Hoffer, but it was an absolutely perfect miss hit as she floats a lollipop over into the middle of the Maple River defense. Lisbon two points away from cap capturing the victory. Elena Lyons, the 5'5 senior defensive specialist with the serve. It's a good one. Kaloran gets it over. And Tui unable to get that one across. Maple River gets the point, but they can't be content with going 50-50 back and forth anymore as they're down six. And Lisbon just two points away from taking this one. Short serve. And a nice block by Stella Satrum. Back-to-back -back points, exactly what Maple River needed. They need to string some more together here. That's a great serve, that's an ace. Differding shanks that one. And we have a timeout called. Lisbon calls one up two, and uh, up by four and two away from capturing the win. 
Do you want that new boat? Are you building onto your home? Maybe you want the new camper or ATV. Dakota Heritage Bank can help you. This is Dustin Nagel, president at Dakota Heritage Bank Hillsborough location. You can visit with me or our other loan officers to help with loans and lines of credit from Dakota Heritage Bank. We are serving you with locations in North Dakota and Northwest Minnesota. Dakota Heritage Bank offers financial services you expect with a local perspective. dhbanknd.com. Dakota Heritage Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Lisbon just two points away from capturing the match victory as they lead 23 to 19 on the Bank North scoreboard. Raiders have a couple of consecutive points trying to mount a run for a comeback. Trying to force us into set five. Hoffer with a nice touch, but laying out for it. There's Kaloran as Maple River keeps it alive. Big time dig from Heckerel, but they can't get it back across. Maple River with three in a row. Good serve, eats up Differding a little bit. Free play over for Maple River. This one hit to the back. Needing to get it over, Differding just does. That one skims the net. Going to the back corner and in, what a touch. Clarissa Hoffer. Lisbon, one point away from victory. Here's Tui. And that is it. And ace for the win! Lisbon takes it in four. A back and forth night at Lisbon High School with Maple River taking set number one, but Lisbon coming back with three in a row. We'll recap it all when we come back. Honesty, loyalty, integrity. At Bank North, we remain true to these values for generations. They shape the way we do business, work with customers, and support our communities. We've been here for more than a century, helping people grow farms and businesses, finance homes, and pursue their dreams. It's values-based banking, and it's all about working together to strengthen the common threads that bind us together. Bank North, always true. This is Chris Brecken from RDK Enterprises, your local precision planting dealer. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to our growers. Your trust and fellowship is the driving force behind our dedication to your successful farming operation. We continue to invest in the education of our team to ensure your customer experience is outstanding. Thank you for the opportunity to be your planter experts. Stop by either of our locations in Hillsboro or Drayton, North Dakota, or visit planterdoc.com. Serving Monoman and the surrounding communities for 34 years, it's Brigham and Super Value, your hometown grocery store in Monoman. Stop by today, great weekly specials, delicious fresh produce, along with baked goods that are baked fresh daily, and a fully stocked meat department. Great deals, you'll find them at your hometown grocery store, Brigham and Super Value. Celebrating 34 years, it's your hometown grocery store, Brigham and Super Value in Monoman. Back at Lisbon High here on your live event where the Lisbon Broncos 
take a 3-1 victory over the Maple River Raiders. The Raiders took set one and their size was really making a difference in that first set with both Stella Satram and Addison Hannig, the sophomore pair in the middle, both offered a lot of resistance and ended up taking set one by the score of 25 to 19. Lisbon then cleans up their first set mistakes. They uh, seem to really improve throughout this game and just got stronger. They had a 12 to two run to open the second set and they never looked back. Maple River did make a nice effort to come back in set number two. They got the lead down to one with a 19 to 18 deficit there, but Lisbon finishes after a pivotal timeout uh, with a six nothing run. So good call there from uh, Kara Tui getting that timeout, getting her players uh, back where they need to be in their heads. Then uh, moving on to set three, an eight nothing run in the middle of set number three from Maple River was one of the higher points they had throughout this match. They went up 13 to seven in the middle of set three, but a big time Lisbon run in the second half of set number three. They caught up at 20 to 20 on the Bank North scoreboard. And then after being tied at 22, uh, went on to win that one by the score of 25 to 22. And then set number four was the most even set probably for about the first three quarters of it as it was tightly contested back and forth, longer volleys as both teams seemed to get better as time went on uh, in this match. But Lisbon and uh, Heckerl, really, Kyra Heckerl, just too much to overcome as her athleticism was on full display tonight. The junior middle hitter for Lisbon uh, proved to be a big time player and contributor to their win. We'll step aside and come back with our Enbridge Energy player of the game and RDK Enterprises player of the game after this. Triple E Incorporated in Page is cheering on the Raiders. As they compete both on and off the field and on the court, you put in the effort to build a team with trust, experience, and the ability to accomplish your goals. The team at Triple E Incorporated is built the same way, with knowledge and experience that you can trust to get the job done with timeliness and efficiency. For your next non-residential building project, contact Triple E Incorporated, 701-668-2258, or stop by the office in Page. Make your next project a winner with a team from Triple E Incorporated in Page. Hope Page Public Schools are committed to the development of all students by providing a high-quality education that is reflective of the strong values in our communities. The staff at Hope Page Public Schools work each day to enable and inspire students to achieve academic excellence and make positive contributions to our world. Learn more about Hope Page Public Schools by visiting hope-page.k12.nd.us. We are Hope Page, and we will change the world. Farmers, are you expanding, upgrading, or want to automate? Visit with the experienced staff at Hope Electric to learn about the latest electrical systems and the newest technologies that they have developed to make your operation more efficient. Get a custom system in place with features like iPad truck loading and remote view grain storage, touchscreen controls, hazard monitoring systems, and wireless cellular cameras to protect your assets. Hope Electric, serving the agricultural and commercial industry since 1978. Visit hopeelectric.com or call 701-945-2460. Larson Parts and Repair Inc. Highway 59 in Bijou does it all. They provide full shop services for your tractors, combines, trucks, pickups, and cars. Their tire department carries a full line of name brand tires, and they've got state-of-the-art alignment equipment. And don't forget about the parts department. They have parts for just about anything right down to your lawnmower. Call today, 218-935-2774. Larson Parts and Repair, Inc., Highway 59 in Bijou. Welcome back to an emptying out Lisbon High School tonight. It is just after 9 o'clock as Lisbon takes the 3-1 to one set victory over Maple River. It's time to acknowledge some of our sponsors here tonight as we have our Enbridge Energy Player of the Game. 
Enbridge Energy for Life. Learn more at Enbridge.com for more career opportunities. And our Enbridge Energy player of the game tonight, pretty clear to me, Kyra Heckrell was all over the floor for Lisbon High School tonight. The junior middle hitter was making a difference. She had many blocks at the net. A fantastic outing from her and her athleticism and vertical gave her a lot of good clean looks uh, at the Maple River defense. And then for our RDK Enterprises feature precision player of the game, I'm gonna go with Clarissa Hoffer on this one. Maybe not the hugest impact on in terms of kills, but she did have a, a quietly good, sneaky good night, and she came up with a lot of good plays in the clutch, whether that was making saves or plays at the net as she was also uh, a middle hitter tonight, another 5'10 junior, same as Kyra Heckerl, playing that same role when uh, Kyra was out. So the middle was just locked down for Lisbon tonight. So once again, your Enbridge Energy Player of the Game, Kyra Heckerl, and your RDK Enterprises Precision, uh, Precision Player of the Game, uh, Clarissa Hoffer. So there you have it for our players of the game tonight. We'll step aside real quick and just recap it and tie a bow on it once more tonight from Lisbon. The Maple Valley School District is moving forward with the plan to build a new pre-K classroom, community fitness center, and gymnasium with locker rooms. The classroom will provide more space for a growing pre-K program. The fitness center will provide opportunities to benefit all Maple Valley communities, and the gym will allow more opportunities for all activities of the Maple River Co-op. Plus, the plan is to build with no new taxes. Contact the business manager to see how you can help make this a reality today at 701-749-2570. The Maple Valley Parents Organization is an organization whose main purpose is to support all Maple Valley student activities and to promote a healthy environment and attitudes for the youth. Their aim is to encourage growth and interest in these areas by supporting them in a sportsmanlike manner. The Maple Valley Parents Organization is open to anyone. If you'd like to become a member or see upcoming events, like their Facebook page by searching Maple Valley Parents Organization on Facebook. A nice win for Lisbon tonight, a three to one victory over Maple River after their Tuesday loss in three sets to Oaks, North Dakota. Uh, they did win a two set uh, non-con game against New England earlier. So this is their first regular season win of the year for Lisbon tonight. So they improved to a one and one record. We'll take a look now at what they've got coming up as they have uh, Napoleon Gackle Streeter coming up in five days from now. On the 6th, they'll be hosting that right here at Lisbon High. And then uh, one week from now, this next Thursday, Winemere Lidgerwood, they'll have them on the road, going to make the travel out to Winemere to take on them. And then they'll have Tri-State Co-op and Richland and Central Cast coming up as well on that schedule. So some tough sledding ahead uh, for Lisbon. But they get the win tonight. They improve to one and one. Kara Tui in her first year coaching gets her first regular season head coaching win. So congratulations to Coach Tui on the victory. Again, Lisbon wins in four sets over Maple River tonight. Uh, thank you for all. Thank you all for watching. Please uh, give uh, some business to our sponsors. We could not do this broadcast without them. So please uh, give them some of your business if you can, or just say thank you. Uh, we really appreciate our sponsors around here at YourLiveEvent.com, presented by Halstead Telephone Company. So thank you for tuning in, either on YouTube or watching on YourLiveEvent.com tonight. Uh, everyone have a good night from Lisbon High. Josh Boyko signing off.